Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to the 35th day of starting the cake with so in which we shall be discussing 20 questions on general science. Okay, so let's proceed uh, specifically biology questions. So 20 questions are there. So I request everyone to please participate in the quiz to buy a full video course on history, polity, geography, computer and English and economics and accountancy as well. I forgot to mention here dedicated for SPSC. Uh, you can WhatsApp to this number as you can see uh, the course price for each subject is 1200 okay in which you get all uh, theory videos and MCQs as well for each subject 1200 send a message to this number I request everyone to please participate the PDF of entire series it will cost you 300 rupees in which you get both printable format and uh, digital read PDF okay so first question which of the following diseases is caused by virus the options are there and your time begins now tuberculosis typhoid influenza or diphtheria the correct answer to this question is influenza this question was asked in uh, lmo 2021 okay legal metrology officer paper 2021 of spc okay so it's a previous year question so it's influenza which is caused by virus so it's caused by infection of the respiratory tract with influenza viruses or rna viruses of ortho virus genus okay so influenza uh, tuberculosis uh, is caused by bacteria okay and typhoid and uh, diphtheria are also bacterial diseases so let's proceed let's go to the next question uh, so here you can see uh, tuberculosis is caused by myobacterium cholera caused by uh, bacteria common cold is our uh, influenza caused by virus rabies caused by virus dysentery caused by protozoa and malaria this is important the causative agent of uh, malaria is protozoa okay so this is it and here are given some mode of transmission symptoms and preventive measurements as well preventive measures so you can pause the video and have a look or you'll get it in the pdf anyways okay so let's proceed next question a yellow dust which appears on the finger fingers whenever we touch the middle of a flower uh, this tiny yellow greens are one of the most precious substances in the nature because they contain the secret of plant life what is the dust called okay pretty detailed question options are there your time begins now what is that dust pollen sperm spore or sporocyst the correct answer is pollen okay the yellow powder is called pollen and the stick that holds it is known as stamen it's the part of a female reproductive uh, part of flower okay so uh, here we can see in detail uh, let me use the highlighter so all this is important okay so you know uh, the colorful part of the flower are known as petals okay this is a uh, class 8 biology yeah class 10 also there okay uh, it's mentioned in class 10 also so these are basically elementary biology so petals and then you know uh, male reproductive part as a whole are known as stamen female reproductive part as a whole are known as carpal and stamen has two part anther and filament okay and anther contains pollen okay pollen grains so this is precisely what the question is asking okay so uh, the yellow powder is pollen and uh, it is known uh, the stick that holds is stamen okay so this is it uh, and uh, carpel or pistil is the female reproductive part it, it has three parts that is uh, stigma style and ovary okay basic so uh, more details you can see here let's go to the next question which organ of the body produces the fluid known as bile the options are there and your time begins now it's a simple question i think everybody can answer basically which organ produces bile juice okay this can be asked like this also fluid known as bile or bile juice it's the same thing liver pancreas gallbladder or kidney the correct answer to this question is liver okay it produces a digestive fluid known as bile liver releases bile into gallbladder this is important okay liver releases bile into gallbladder which is a small pear shaped organ located just below the liver in the upper right side of our abdomen okay so liver produces bile juice into abdomen so here we can see uh, here are some different juices produced by different different organs so liver produces bile 
so here is the gall bladder where this uh, where this bile juice is produced and uh, intestinal juice is produced in, in uh, intestine in stomach this uh, chyme acid is produced okay and uh, so this is esophagus uh, from where the food comes okay and pancreas produces pancreatic juices okay so this is simple biology next uh, which of the following hormones is a steroid the options are there and your time begins now which of the following hormone is a steroid estrogen glucagon insulin oxytocin you should know what steroid is first of all so before discussing the answer let's see what an steroid is uh, the answer is estrogen but we should know first what a steroid is so steroid hormones are derived from cholesterol and are lipid soluble molecules okay so those hormones which are derived from cholesterol and which are lipid soluble molecules are steroids now out of this uh, all the correct answer is estrogen so estrogen is a an steroid and there are basically uh, three endocrine organs uh, which produces uh, steroid hormones okay and which are the steroid hormones testosterone one uh, testosterone is uh, steroid hormone estrogen which is produced in uh, ovary okay sometimes it is known as uh, o e s t r o g e n okay so this estrogen it is sometimes spelled as o e s t r o g e n also okay so the spelling may vary estrogen and the adrenal cortex produces steroid hormones such as cortisol and so aldosterone so cortisol aldosterone estrogen and testosterone all these are steroid hormone produced by three different endocrine organs which is testis ovaries and adrenal cortex okay so this is it next question uh, here you can see different glands uh, producing different different hormones like pituitary gland which is known as master gland it produces acts hormone and uh, oxytocin hormone okay growth hormone basically pineal gland produces melatonin we'll see later thyroid gland produces thyroxine adrenal gland produces adrenal cortex cortisol which is a steroid hormone which is so adrenal medulla adrenaline and noradrenaline this is also produced ovaries produced estrogen testos produce testosterone okay which is so uh, ovaries also produce progesterone this is another hormone it's not mentioned here okay so it's progesterone and estrogen is produced by ovaries so this is it let's go to the next question which of the following function is not a function of liver simple question i think you can answer it regulation of uh, blood sugar enzyme activation detoxification or reproduction the correct answer to this question is reproduction okay everybody knows liver is not involved in reproduction here yeah. liver is involved in regulation of blood sugar enzyme activation and detoxification so more details on the screen next question consider the following statements first statement insulin it's a fat storage hormone which is released by pancreas and regulates metabolic processes first statement and second statement is melatonin it is produced by pineal gland in the brain which controls sleep and wake cycles it is also known as sleeping hormone so you need to uh, select the correct answer that which of these or if uh, both of these or none of these are correct only one only two both one and two or neither one and two the correct answer is both are correct okay so insulin it is a fat storage hormone correct it is released by pancreas correct and it regulates metabolic processes correct melatonin is uh, produced by pineal gland correct it's in the brain correct and it controls sleep and wake cycles correct and it is also known as sleeping hormones melatonin it's correct okay so sleeping hormone so hope it is clear it's also sometimes known as a darkness hormone also okay so there are various other name given to melatonin basically sleeping hormone next greatest number of sweat in glands which are uh, present in which part of the human body okay greatest number of sweat uh, glands are in which part of the human body forehead forearm palm of the hand or back sweat glands the correct answer is palm of the hands and not only palm uh, it uh, the more number of sweat glands are there in toes also okay so basically palm and toes but if uh, palm is only in the option like in this case you can tick on palm safely okay so this is it next vaccination was started by whom this is a pretty simple question who started vaccination john Stark, paul muller edward jenner robert frost robert frost is an option 
is a poet yeah so robert frost is cancelled he is a poet edward jenner is uh, it was started by edward jenner so this is it is robert frost involved in science i don't know if he is involved okay please uh, correct me if robert frost is involved in some sort of scientific activities apart from literature let's go to the next question proteins are made up of what this is also a simple question proteins are made up of what the options are there and your time begins now sugars amino acids fatty acids or nucleic acids proteins it's amino acids yeah everybody knows proteins are made up of amino acids next question milk contains which vitamin this can be quite confusing milk contains which vitamin vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c or vitamin d it's also pronounced as vitamin sometimes vitamin or vitamin it's the same thing and milk contains vitamin d yeah milk contains nutrients important for basically bone health and which are the calcium phosphorus vitamin d and protein okay so milk contains vitamin d along with all this next who discovered protozoa and bacteria the options are there and your time begins now f frick watson and m wilkins harvey linus or leeuwenhoek the correct answer is d okay leeuwenhoek or antony leeuwenhoek is his full name his university acknowledged as father of microbiology and he discovered both protozoa and bacteria so remember it okay next choose the incorrect options the options are there and your time begins now electron discovered by jj thompson 1897 proton discovered by rutherford 1917 neutron discovered by chadwick 1932 atomic theory given by dalton john dalton in 1808 so which one is incorrect the correct answer is none is incorrect all are correct okay so all this is correct electron discovered by jj thompson in 1897 correct proton discovered by rutherford 1917 correct neutron discovered by chadwick 1932 correct and atomic theory i think everybody knows this okay dalton's atomic theory given by john dalton in 1808 correct okay let's go to the next question hargobin purana had researched on which hargobin purana i think everybody knows he's a nobel laureate we have discussed uh, this in Nobel Prize session as well. Recently, we had done a session on Nobel Prize on SSC second. We discussed about him. Hargobind Kurana had researched on option B, that is, order of nucleotides in nucleic acid. He got a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine with two other scientists, okay, shared prize in 1968, okay, Nobel Prize for Medicine. Hope it's clear. Hargobind Kurana, order of nucleotides in nucleic acid acids okay basically related to genetics next what is the full form of sars in sars cov2 cov i think everybody knows okay coronavirus so sars coronavirus sars full form the options are there severe allergenic respiratory syndrome severe acute respiratory syndrome slightly acute respiratory syndrome or serious acute respiratory syndrome the correct answer is b okay severe acute respiratory system uh, syndrome so covid 19 everybody knows it's caused by a virus called sars cov2 okay it's part of coronavirus family this virus sars cov2 uh, which include common viruses that cause a variety of diseases from head to chest uh, colds to more severe but most rare diseases like severe acute respiratory syndrome uh, sars and uh, other diseases, Middle East Respiratory Assist, uh, Syndrome, which is MERS also, okay. So, uh, there is one called MERS COV2 also, but more uh, famous virus is SARS-CoV2, okay. SARS-CoV uh, Syndrome, okay? coronavirus. Uh, let's go to the next question. Next question, name the acid which is secreted in the stomach. This, is, this should also be easy. Which acid is secreted in the stomach? It's secreted by a gastric gland, I guess. Yeah, gastric gland. So, gastric gland secretes a uh, gastric juice in which uh, what are they? Uh, there's one acid and there's mucus and there's an enzyme called pepsin. And which acid is there? The name of the acid is hydrochloric acid. Okay. 
so HCL is secreted in stomach next which vitamin is needed to prevent xerothalmia the options are there and your time begins now which vitamin is needed to prevent xerothalmia vitamin A B C or D the correct answer is vitamin A okay xerothalmia it's a progressive eye disease caused by vitamin A deficiency like a vitamin A can dry out your tear ducts and eyes so basically drying of eyes okay it's called xerothalmia so it's caused by deficiency of vitamin A okay so this is it xerothalmia uh, can develop into night blindness or more serious damage to our cornea can happen which is the outer layer of the eye okay next a second last question das is known as soldiers of the body the options are there and your time begins now red blood cell white blood cell hemoglobin or plasma soldiers of the body the correct answer to this question is white blood cells or white blood corpuscles sometimes sometimes it is called okay they are called soldiers of the body why because the white blood cell provide immunity to our body which help in fighting against diseases infections allergies and foreign particles so white blood cells are basically known as soldiers of the body last question hepatitis it's a general term for a disease that is caused by what hepatitis so options are there and your time begins now viruses bacteria parasites or all of the above hepatitis it's a general term for disease that is caused by which so the correct answer to this question is viruses okay hepatitis it's a general term for the disease which is caused by viruses hepatitis basically means inflammation of the liver okay inflammation of liver inflammation is swelling that happens when tissues of the body are injured or infected it can damage our liver and it is basically caused by viruses okay so hope it's clear uh, this uh, inflammation also uh, causes due to heavy alcohol use toxins some medications and uh, uh, under certain medical conditions as well but basically it's caused by viruses so with this we complete the session we complete all 20 questions please write in the comments that how much did you score out of 20 let us revise all these questions quickly so we saw that influenza is the disease which is caused by virus uh, so these are the different diseases and causative microorganisms mode of transmission symptoms and preventive measures you can see and then we saw that the yellow dust which appears on the finger uh, when we touch the middle of the flower it is basically pollen okay pollen so it's in male reproductive part so we saw it of the flower and then the organ which produces bile is liver and then we saw that estrogen hormone is a steroid hormone and then we saw that uh, reproduction is not the function of liver and then we saw that both these statements are correct uh, insulin is fat storage hormone and melatonin produced by pineal gland in brain controls sleep and wake cycles also known as sleeping hormone and then we saw that the greatest number of sweat glands are there in palm vaccination was started by uh, edward jenner Proteins are made up of amino acids. Milk contains vitamin D. Protozoa and bacteria are discovered by Anthony Levinock. So all these options are correct. Uh, electrons, J.J. Thompson, Proton Rutherford, Neutral Chadwick, Atomic Theory, Delton. And Hargobind Purana, research on uh, order of nucleotides in nucleic acid. He got uh, 1968 Nobel Prize for medicine along with two other scientists. And then SARS will form with CB acute respiratory syndrome. So we saw that uh, the digestion of protein starts in uh, uh, stomach itself. And then we saw that the acid which is secreted in the stomach is HCL. And to prevent xerothalmia, vitamin uh, A is needed. And then soldiers of the body are white blood cells and hepatitis. It's a general term for disease caused by viruses. So with this, we complete today's session. So to buy the PDF, it will cost you rupees 300. So send a message to this number. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SSC second. Bye-bye.